All right, guys, just fire questions at them. Uh, for Tim first, I guess, just talk about the season and uh, what the preseason has been like and the expectations you guys have as a team. Um, the preseason has been pretty hard so far. Like we're working, we have two days literally every day. We haven't had an off day yet, and I think the team is working pretty hard since we um, decided to try a new system this year, the three-five-two, which has been good so far in my opinion. And we had some good approaches, but we have to keep working hard because otherwise it's going to be hard. Because I mean, it's it's a new system for for all of us, even for coaches. So it's hard. We have to work every day like hard, even in the morning and the afternoon. <clears throat> and the season's going to be exciting, especially about the new system, the, the new stadium, and um, the fans are excited for this season. We got a good, lot of good response at the kickoff banquet, and they told us they, are, they can't wait until the season starts, and so we were like excited for the season and just want to build on the, the, the stuff we did last year. You, you had such a good individual year last year. Talk about your sophomore year, Tim, going back into it. I mean, yeah, last year was a pretty good year for me, but it was only possible because our my teammates supported me that uh, so well because I mean it's not usual for a defender to score that many goals. Um, so um, this year I just want to pay that back to the team and I'm, I'm hungry and humble. Like I said last year at the end of the season, um, it didn't end that well for us. We we wish we would have made it further in the, in the NCAA tournament. Um, I think and the whole team is like just hungry to get back to work and um, yeah, just get wins and make it further in the NCAA tournament this year. Guys, this is for everybody. I know it was. Um, I think the big picture is I think we came together as a group. I think uh, we incorporated a lot of the new guys in there, and they had a big part in it uh, to come back and win that game. And uh, I think just the, the team chemistry this year I think is a lot better. I think uh, we're all united. We all have the same goal, and we all are working together towards the same goal. We all want to win a national championship. And uh, I think it showed that game. And I think that was the first time uh, the team came together as one. And uh, we proved it in front of everybody, and we put on a good show for the for the fans. Andrew, you want to talk about it too? Yeah. Uh, well, I think it shows that we have a deep roster, and we have guys coming in off the bench that can make an impact and can change the game. Uh, we have guys coming in. I mean, they really made a difference in the second half. They were fresh and they were ready to go. I mean, props to them for staying warm on the sidelines, getting ready to come in, and when they got the moment, they took advantage of it. Yeah, um, I also think it was just an important game for us to have preseason-wise. You know, we got several things out of it. We had, you know, a comeback from behind. We had PKs. You know, these are some things we're going to see during the season. You know, it's going to be a fight every game, especially with the big ACC games. And I think this is just a very important game for us to have preseason-wise. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people, including myself, have never really played in that big of an atmosphere with that many people at the stadium. So, I mean, the transfers and freshmen coming in, it'll be a little adjustment for them. But I think we're a little bit more used to it. And that doesn't mean we, we still want it packed and still want it uh, roaring ready to go. So, I mean, we're excited. We're so thankful that we have all the fans that come out and support us on a day-to-day -day basis. So, uh, I mean, we're ready for it. I mean, I think it, for the freshmen and transfers, and like I said, it'll get – take a little bit of adjustment, but it's, it's a good adjustment to have. I mean, having that many fans there. So I think they'll enjoy it. Um, for Ben, just the, what is the biggest difference maybe from this year to last year with this, with this team? I mean, can you pinpoint a couple things that, that, might be, that you might be better at than you were maybe this time last year? Uh, yeah, I think this year is, is just a closer group. You know, it's always hard for uh, soccer, especially. We only have a couple of weeks to integrate, you know, new players into the system. And like Tim said earlier, we're trying a new system out. I think everyone's just on the same page right now. And it's, you know, we're looking forward to, to playing each game and taking one game at a time. And I think it's just a closer group. So, yeah. Tim, what did you guys learn from the ACC last year? Was it what you 
bottom would be, or was it a lot different? Um, I'd say it was pretty much what we thought it was going to be. You know, every game is is a, a hard fought game. It's not like you know you there's going to be different systems you play against. So we might have to change our game up a little bit, but. The ACC, you know, one of the top conferences in the country for soccer, especially, and every game is just going to be a fight. I'll add on to that. I just yep. say that uh, I thought we went into the ACC with high expectations, and uh, we did really well. I thought, and that just proves that we belong here. I think that we can play with any team in the ACC, and uh, I think we have a good run at winning the tournament this year and the division. I mean, first of all, we got to see that it's. I, I personally think it's good for Louisville to have a semi-pro or professional soccer team because it brings a little bit more professional atmosphere about soccer. Because like so far, it's only been the Louisville basketball or football team was like most of the the popularity, and now I think like no, we have a little bit more about soccer. But I also think that some guys have like the 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 hope or like the dream to play like even higher than just the USL or the NASL. And I think like I mean, it's it's a good option to play for Louisville for sure. Because I mean they they have been good so far in the league, but um I mean like our top guys they just wanna I know from experience that they wanna go like the ways like Andrew Fell went, like in the real and MLS. So I think it's a good option, but um like most of the guys dream higher or they wanna achieve higher. Coach talked about the experience being in Madrid and seeing the Champions League game. Have you all addressed how it might affect have affected you guys? And had any of you all seen a Champions League? I mean, I've seen a couple of them. I've seen like I don't know, 20 or 30 since when I was in Germany. So for me, it was it was still something new. I've been to the Santiago Bernabéu, like in Real Madrid, to see Dortmund playing them in the semifinal when we lost, but we advanced to the final there. That was a pretty awesome game too. But it's still like the atmosphere. It's 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 crazy. Like you can't ex you can only describe, but like you you have to feel it to to get the goosebumps we got. And I think that for for most of the players, they've never seen a game before. I think like almost all of them. And it's just the impact, and it was a crazy game also. It was like a, an overtime and PK shootout game, which is even more, even better, I think. And it's just like to see where you can actually get to, like in soccer, if you're really, really good, that just helps the, guy, uh, the guys to just like set their goal even higher, to tr try to get like to this level at some point in their life. How about you guys that hadn't been to a game before? Um, well, I hadn't been to a Champions League game before, so. Just, uh, I mean, getting dropped off by the bus and uh, walking down, just kind of down the street to the stadium was an experience that I've never had before. Soccer in the U.S. isn't as big as it is in other countries. So just seeing the mass crowds of people, uh, you know, trying to crowd into the stadium was amazing. And then once being inside, just seeing how the fans all united as one, cheered on their team and supported their home team was incredible, something that we're trying to do here at Lynn Stadium. We want to get as many people out to the games as possible and uh, build that atmosphere around Lynn Stadium and uh, Louisville men's soccer team. Uh, it was amazing. I think uh, a lot of us have, uh, have dreamed about going to a Champions League game and playing in a Champions League game. And just seeing that environment and seeing how passionate the fans are or something that you learn to appreciate, and that that's something we don't have here. And uh, it was it was it was amazing to see, like like Romy said, we step off the bus and everybody is around, and the whole city shuts down just for that game. It's something that I mean we are so fortunate to to witness and be a part of, and it's cr it's cool that we all became Atletico Madrid fans for that one night, even though I wouldn't consider myself an Atletico fan at all. So <laughs> it was pretty fun. How did it? Has it affected your alls when you're on the pitch, the way you play, the way you think about the game, technique, decision making? Uh, can any of you all speak about any specifics as, as to how that game might have affected your game? 
Yeah, I think just um, like seeing the whole culture aspect of it, you know, the fans bringing the energy to the game, and that starts with, you know, the team. And the team working hard on the field, going after every play, you know, as it's 100%. And that just builds and builds into this culture that, you know, is unbelievable. Like the Atletico Stadium, like these guys mentioned, we were literally, you could feel it, you know. And that, we just want that at Lynn Stadium. And I think that's going to help us, you know, push us to win games late in, you know, late in the game when we're tired, you know, just having that in our mindset, like this is for the fans, this is for us, you know. I think that was a good point. This is kind of for everybody, but um, – there have been, um, you know, you all have been picked to win the division and contend for the conference. If everybody can stay healthy and play the way you all think you can, what do you think this team is capable of this year? Um, I thought last year we were good, but I think this year we're a lot better. And last year we were a game short from uh, the conference, a game short from ACC champs. And I think if we beat UMBC, I think, or winning a national championship. So this year, I believe, with the team that we have, with the players that came in, and uh, the new formation we're playing, I think if we all get to, on the same page and uh, you know believe in ourselves, I think we can win everything. I thought we almost did it last year, and this year we have a better team. I think everyone has a better mentality going into it. And uh, I mean, we're all hungry. We all want it. Some guys might leave this year, might be the last year, so got to got a good team and we got to take advantage of it this year. I would also add something there. And I also like the change from the ACC that they made in the in tournament that the uh, highest ranked team has the home games and that's I think it's it's key for us because we try to win the division and then also get the home games all the time because I think personally that Lynn can win us games like the important games when it's on the edge that then if the crowd is coming like the Syracuse game last year when we beat them 2-1 in overtime like then the crowd is going to be key for us. And that's what we're trying to do. Like our goal is to win a division and then with, together with the crowd and the whole team, then to win the, the conference. And from now on, everything is possible. That should be our goal.